Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you another movie review. And this time we'll be talking about Crown Vic. Starring Thomas Jane along with Luke Clytank. Uh, with one of the producers being Alec Baldwin. And it just came out last year in 2019. And is a cop crime drama. Which follows one memorable night in the life of LAPD officer Ray Mandel. Along with his new rookie, hunting two cop killers on the loose. Yes, I did get the Blu-ray copy right here, finally. Um, I've actually been looking forward to this movie for uh, quite some time. Um, particularly for uh, Thomas Jane's uh, sake. Um, if I haven't really covered this enough on my channel, Thomas Jane is one of my all-time favorite actors. Not only is uh, his 2004 Punisher film uh, quite possibly my all-time favorite movie, along with his portrayal, I think, uh, being you know, absolutely incredible and overlooked. Um, just uh, I've enjoyed him in his later roles too, you know, just because he's not always in Punisher mode. He's always he always brings a particular, uh, you know, in a way about him. Whether he's a more self serious character, whether he plays you know those more off the off the wall roles that he's done in recent years, um, I, I just always get glued to him as an actor. And uh, I was looking forward to this one. It's uh, it's been described as like a combination of uh, you know that Jake Gyllenhaal movie End of Watch along with a movie like uh, Training Day. Um, yeah, I'd say it's probably a bit closer to End of Watch. Maybe it's uh, it's a pretty uh, condensed movie. It's uh, <clears throat> it's not really spoon fed to you either. And what I enjoyed most about this was not only it's. Uh, you know, pretty fair sense of realism, but also how it weaved in character intricacies, intricacies without, you know, like showing, you know, flashbacks or without, you know, again, you know, spoon being into or putting it in your face, but things organically come up about, uh, you know, Officer Ray Mandel's past as the night goes along, you know, kind of a coincidence with this rookie's, uh, you know, first night, but... You know, that's not too bad, and uh, I do gotta say, the uh, actor who co-starred Lon Jane, um, Luke Clytank, or, yeah, I think I'd say pronounce his name, is Nick Holland, I thought he was pretty good too, he uh, felt believable, you know, he had an extra sense of, uh, you know, optimism, or you could say, um, uh, what's the word for it, uh, I cannot think right now, apparently, um, but you know he has a uh, he has a new wife, so he's trying to provide for her. I, I forget if he I think he has a kid on the way or something like that. Um, so definitely coming from two very different perspectives there. And obviously uh, Thomas Jane's character Ray Mandel, he's been on the force. He's dedicated his life to it. Um, you know for probably a little bit too long though. <laughs> so he's uh, he's very jaded. He's a bit uh, bitter, a bit cynical. Um, and uh, Thomas Jane just does that really really well. Uh, they filmed this in uh, Buffalo, New York right away. Or, by the way, excuse me. Um, and most of the movie, I mean, the main you know, focus of the movie is just these two guys, you know, talking back and forth in the in the squad car as they go in the uh, Crown Vic, right? Um, and they do well. They, they, again, both feel believable and realistic in their roles. And, it, you know, it's not an action film. Um, so don't go into it thinking that. Um... But when, when there is uh, a bit of that, it definitely, you know, it's definitely one of those things where it feels visceral, it feels sort of a, you know, it takes you, uh, you know, off the, off, onto an edge a little bit, you know, because it, the movie plays in a way, again, where it feels a bit, uh, you know, zoned in, and all of a sudden something happens, and then, ooh. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's not over the top or anything, it definitely fits within the realm of uh, believability while still being as brutal as you know, something like that would be. So the movie does get to that point. It is sort of, uh, you know, building to something a bit. I'll say that much. Um, but this movie is very much, uh, you know, somewhat of character study and also just a really nicely paced, uh, you know, just sort of, uh, again, focused and condensed in uh, cop thriller that I actually think was quite good. Um, I lived up to my expectations for the most part, and uh, I'm also especially looking forward to another movie of Thomas Jane's coming this year, actually, uh, being released in March, in fact, called Hunter's Moon. Excited for him to be in a werewolf horror film, which should be quite fun. Um, but Crown Vic, yeah, I, I liked it a lot. I'm happy I have it. I mean, I, I would get it anyway for his sake, but 
That was pretty good, a 12 shot. Um, and uh, the movie does, I don't know if I want to say it ends abruptly, but you do kind of want maybe another 5 or 10 minutes, I think, but it was appropriate for the, again, the focus narrative they're trying to tell. Um, so yeah, overall I, you know, I liked it quite a bit. Um, the supporting cast is pretty good. Um, you have a couple uh, off-the-wall narcotics officers and such. Um, they are a bit uh, unhinged, I guess, you know, for their own reasons. Um, Scotty Thompson is on this, who I've seen in a few things. And uh, yeah, so overall, if I'd rate this movie, I'd give it at least like a, between like an 84, 86%. Um, uh, you know, pretty strong uh, B, I think. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend checking it out. Let me know what you guys think if you have seen it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.